Good morning Vinyl Studio users. Today we're going to have a, another look at audio cleanup, this time with the emphasis on the hiss filter. A few people have said to us that they'd like us to make a video to explain how to get the best out of it. So let's have a look. Uh, what we have here is uh, a recording made from a cassette. It's quite noisy so it will benefit from a bit of work so let's have a, a listen to the recording in its raw form so quite a bit of hiss as you can tell now I've already declicked it I just did a, an automated scan uh, there's a video about declicking elsewhere on this channel if you're interested in more detail about that. Um, but uh, it helps the hiss filter because the clicks otherwise uh, make it less accurate. <coughs> Alright, so to make the hiss filter work properly, you have to define a noise sample. And that tells Vinyl Studio what's hiss and what isn't. And when you do that, it's important that there's no no audio in it, otherwise the hiss filter doesn't perform well. It causes a lot of audible artifacts. And the way you do that is by selecting something which is just hiss and then turning on the hiss filter. So let's make the selection. Something like that should be about right. okay so that's just hiss as you can hear so let's open the filter settings window turn on the hiss filter and vinyl studio asks us to define a noise sample and it, as i say it takes it from the selection so let's just play that again to be sure all right that sounds okay so OK, I have defined a noise sample. Uh, a confirmation message, just to let you know how important it is to get it right. Uh, you can dismiss that for future work once you've got the hang of it. And now let's listen again. And as you can hear, that's a lot quieter. And that's really all you need to do. Vinyl Studio will remember what you've done and it will apply the hiss filter when you save your tracks or if you play audio within Vinyl Studio you can hear the effect of it then as well and it's as simple as that. Uh, your original recording isn't changed in any way so if you want to come back and change some settings you can do that and then you just save your tracks again uh, and that's quite a nice feature. There are a couple of adjustments you can make. Uh, this slider here adjusts the amount of hiss reduction. So the default setting, which is in the middle, is normally about right. Uh, if you've got a very noisy recording, you can turn it up. But the higher you set it, uh, the more uh, it will affect the audio itself. So let's compare that, which as you can hear is almost silent, with this. And if we turn it right down this, but don't overdo it. Uh, it's better to set it too low than too high. Uh, like I say, the higher settings are really for recordings which are in very bad condition like say maybe a 78 that's got a lot of wear on it and it's worth listening to the music itself once you think you've got it right so let's do that let's uh, go up here somewhere so that's not bad uh, the hiss filter is adaptive, that is to say it uh, is most effective in quiet passages of music when you would otherwise hear the hiss 
when the music is louder it does less work so it doesn't affect the audio too much uh, and that's uh, important you don't want the audio being damaged um, the, the process is by its very nature subtractive so it will always have some effect but hopefully it won't spoil your listening pleasure all right that's it thanks for listening